Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our final new product preview of the evening, but last but not least, do have Magic Gathering Innistrad Crimson Vow Bundle Box. I love checking out the bundle boxes because they're just so fun to open, a little bit of more of a bite-sized opening than a full draft booster or a full set booster. Plus, you do have those really cool oversized spin-downs that come only in the bundle boxes. Of course, now we do have set boosters inside the bundles instead of draft boosters, just eight set boosters inside. Pack of foil basics, pack of regular non-foil basics, and alternate art foil rare. Of course, the box itself with the design featuring Olivia and that special spin down. So let's go ahead and jump on into this one here. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. Bit of a weak snap. I did actually injure myself Monday night. I know exactly what happened, but I don't understand how it happens. I was turning off the light switch, and I guess one of the screws was loose in the, like, the panel for, like the plates and when I went to turn it off I somehow got the screw stuck under my fingernail and cut myself under my fingernail so it's been making especially this being the last video it's been making my fingers hurt it hurts to type and stuff I hope I was hoping it'd be gone by today but it still hurts I just I don't know how the stars align for that in particular to happen anyway so crimson vow bundle here now with eight set boosters box inside and I want to read you guys this flavor text here in the back joined an unholy matrimony Two of Innistrad's most influential vampires are getting married, and you're invited. Your name's listed right under main course, but that's probably a mistake. Embrace your inner vampire with new blood tokens and a command double side creatures with the power to transform on the battlefield. So this part here is hilarious. Your name's listed right under main course, but eh, don't worry about it. It's probably going to be fine. So that, that to me is funny. And I've noticed all of the different products have been having this little survey. So wizards really want your guys' feedback. Go ahead and give them a piece of your mind here about Crimson Vow. Yes, the oversized spin down life counter, which looks like it has some green in it. So I'm excited to see that. The two packs of basics, your eight 12 card set boosters, the alt art, Sigarda summons, and the box. So let's jump on into it. I do, of course, miss the little booklets that used to come in the bundles. I don't know if we actually have had a bundle with a booklet opened on the channel. I think they got rid of the booklets prior to the start of the channel, which was last January. First magic stuff we opened up on the channel was Theros Beyond Death, which I think bundles were gone at that point. That is just for recycling. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, it's the RSVP for the wedding. Da. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I will be bringing a guest, and I will be eating the guest. Do you want cow, chicken, whale, fish? It looks like a whale, but I'm assuming fish. Whale doesn't make sense. Or human. Tasty. Pl preferred blood type. Place stamp. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh, the binding vows of Olivia Voldaren and Edgar Markov. Let's get all oh, the little art there. That's the art on the collector booster box, I believe. This is cool. Oh, this is hilarious. Ah, oh, they've been knocking it out of the park with these things recently. I love the Squirrels of the Multiverse one with the Modern Horizons 2. What is our... Oh, okay, so this is what our little inner poster looks like. Olivia here with her fancy dress. This looks a lot less spiky in this image than in some of the other ones. It's a sick dress, though. Oh, there's a lot of red hands. Oh, there's people. Oh. I just realized that. That is slightly disturbing. Anyways, we're moving that out of the way. I was like, why are there arms? It's because there's people in the image, which I didn't realize before. But all right, so there's the art for the set booster box. Apt that they put set booster pack art and box art on top of these set booster bundles. And the little, I like that little stained glass there with the planeswalker symbol. All right, this box looks oddly empty. This, man, man. Wizards, what is this? We got purple hues. We got green sparkles. We got just a very dingy looking spin down here. All right, I will say it looks cool, but this this looks fine. Like I like the purple. I'm not I'm not seeing the green. I like how the purple is coming out from the inside. I know it's not coming out on camera super well. Oh, that looks good there. But that does not look anything like the picture on the back of the bundle, and I am actually disappointed. Like, this looks cool, but this is nothing like I thought it was going to look. I've been betrayed. There's no green. Whee! 
Anyways, if I need to mute that, I will. I don't think that was that loud, but that is disappointing. Why is there no green? I, I mean, the purple looks nice, but there's no green in here. Now I know having opened multiple bundles and looking also Bossman sometimes cracks bundles for singles. It is having a pile of the oversized spin downs. They do look individually different. So maybe this one's just like a, an, an error greenless spin down, but I am so disappointed. Title of the video, Betrayal. Anyways, back to the magic. <laughs> Do have Sigarda Summons here. And this will be our foil basic pack, so I'll open it on up. Take a look. See what is inside. Because, of course, in the regular boosters and collector boosters, do have a draft set and collector boosters. You do have the Eternal Knight basic. So some regular, regular lands. But there was Sigarda Summon. I like it. Little cottage. It is actually a little difficult to see at this angle on the foiling. So I'm looking at them on the monitor. Ooh, that's cool. Blood Moon. Ah, Blood Moon in reprint incoming. No. Allie's big bold prediction. No, just kidding. Well, that's a little carriage there. All right, looks like these same five arts throughout. Let me. Yeah, so the same five arts on those basics. They were nice. They were nice. A bit dark. Like this one, you can much more easily see the cottage and then this little wall here. Um, but I'm not going to open up the non-foils as we've already taken a look. But it does seem like the foils are a bit dark. They are nice. They are nice. I like them. I do think I still prefer, of course, the full art basics. They're just super cool looking. But if you guys want regulars, you can find them in the bundles. Have, of course, our two little reference cards as well. And let's check out our set booster pack. See if we can find anything crazy. Except the, you know, we've already found the crazy betrayal of no green in the spin downs. All right, let's get started here. We do have our art card. Basic. Just like Midnight Hunts. Seems like there is some difference between the basics. Does seem like this has a little bit of a different... It doesn't feel different, but visually it looks like it has a different texture than the rest of the card, even though it's non-foil. So that's interesting to see. Wedding Security Showcase, Dominating Vampire Rare, Dreadlight Monstrosity Foil, and Sacred Rites off the list from Prophecy, I think. No, Odyssey? I was already messing up earlier with the set booster stuff off the list. Ah, what is the Crystal Ball set? I forget. Not my forte. I used to be good at it. I used to sort in the shop in our little... We have a card hotel and the different sets have the set name and the set symbol and I would sort bulk into the card hotel boxes. And that's where I got... I was pretty good there for a while with set names and symbols and I guess it's one of those things you, you either use it or you lose it and I'm, I'm not looking at old magic set set symbols anymore. So I, I, I don't... I don't know. Sacred Rites from, like I said, Odyssey question mark. Millicent Restless Revenant is a commander mythic. Shattered Sanctum, Borderless Rare, Land, Beautiful, and Cultivator Colossus. Yo, the trend is back, y'all. Always watching. Rare from Shadows of Innistrad, I believe. It's back. Y'all, is back. Allie's good at opening bundles. For a while there, I had a super hot streak with bundles. And then with Midnight Hunt, they kind of fizzled out. But Cultivator Colossus here out of the bundle... And Shattered Sanctum in the same pack. Borderless New Land. Looks like the bundle hot streak is back. The video is still going to be titled Betrayal. What is going on here? What is going on here? The, oh, it's morphing. Ah, uh, okay. Lunar Rejection. I'm like, why is it turning into human? This is a turning into a werehunt. Ooh, foil Planes. Got some interesting art. I really like the art direction here. That one, that just hasn't stood out to me before. That is odd. That is odd. Investigator's Journal, Bloody Betrayal Foil. You know, spreading out set booster packs looks a lot weirder when it's not in the way I'm used to. Oh, we do have another. We have one of these in the set booster, but we do have another stamped Voldaren Estate. 
Richard Wright there on the art. Draw off, Visionary Stitcher, rare, into the night foil. Showcase, Breath Keeps Seraph, that is a Commander Rare, Shattered Sanctum, rare, Dawn Heart Disciple, and Venerated Teacher from Rise of Eldrazi. Edgar Charmed Groom, Doom the Center Foil, and another mini game. All right, second to last pack already. And there are a few less packs now with set boosters. Go by a bit quicker. That's really cool looking. Pouring blood into the eyes. Interesting. That is Gift of Fangs. It's cool art, though. Art in the set is great. It's just great. I love it. Curse of Hospitality and Bioloom Egg. All right, final pack. Let's see. Can we have some more last pack magic? Regular Voldaren Estate art card. Demonic Bargain. Laid to Rest Foil. And what is the list? This is our last card of that pack. All right, let's tidy things on up here. And, and of course, we'll get into our recap. How many foils do we find? One per pack, right? Because it's set boosters. Not as cool to do a foil recap when it's not a draft boosted up bund uh, bundle. But all right, all right. We did find a couple of commander cards. One mythic, one rare. A borderless rare, a mythic, and one showcase foil. So we did have Bloodsworn Squire. And Bloodsworn Knights on the back. From Commander, we did have Millicent, Restless Revenant, and Breathkeep Seraph. So Mythic on the Millicent, and Rare on the Seraph. Shattered Sanctum, which has an absolutely beautiful borderless art. Cultivator Colossus, a really nice Mythic pull. Only getting one Mythic here. Cultivator Colossus is definitely nothing to sneer at. Regular Rares, we had Dominating Vampire, Investigator's Journal, Drolf, Visionary Stitcher, Shattered Sanctum, Edgar Charmed Groom, Curse of Hospitality, and Demonic Bargain. Also out of it, just eight packs, we did find three cards from the list. Sacred Rites, Always Watching, and Venerated Teacher. And of course, I didn't sleeve it up because you know me, I'm rude. But we also had that one stamped art card, Voldaren Estate by Richard Wright. And with that, that does it here for this bundle. Like I said, this is cool. It is a really nice looking spin down. I like the purple in it. I just can't help but be disappointed. It's nothing like I was expecting it to look like. And even though it does, does still look good. Come on. I wanted some green. Why put green on the display picture on the actual box if there's no green? This is really cool, though. The RSVP card is really, really cool. So overall, still really pleased with the bundles. Disappointed that this one didn't have green. I mean, there could be ones out there that have green. Because each spin down seems slightly different out of the bundles. But... This one was greenless. We did find some green in the Cultivator Colossus, so. The trade-off. The trade-off was pretty good. Would have preferred a green, to be honest. Bossman wants the Cultivator Colossus. I want the green in the spin now, but this is really neat. I like stuff like this. So this is cool. I'll keep this for me. I kept the the top thing from the set booster too. But yes, that does it here for this bundle opening. Happy to have some bundle magic once again. Like I said, it's been a little rough with some bundle openings here recently. So happy to have Allie's bundle magic fingers back once again. So with that, that does wrap off our Crimson Vow openings today. We'll be checking out some pre-release kits as personal breaks on Friday, hopefully prior to that quintessential quintuplets live case opening. And of course, be having more Crimson Vow openings this Saturday night for our live stream. Have 
couple set boosters, a collector booster, and even more pre-release kits to take a look at. But that does it for me here tonight. Hope you all enjoyed all of our openings. Definitely had a lot of fun here. Betrayal, but had a lot of fun, so I hope you did as well. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, drop those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here for the night, do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have 12 Black Label fans, Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Soltari, Mark Mordini, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have nine Gem Mint fans. Barco Verrer, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Ryan Michael, Scorecard Collectibles, Sinvicta, and William Hastings. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, that finally wraps off all of our Crimson Vow openings today. I hope you all enjoyed them. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye.